window cleaning. Ask any housewife and she'll tell you that it's woman's work, and not very challenging at that. But in this skyscraper age of ours, window cleaning has become a dramatic daredevil job. A female could still do it, but she'd have to be a fly on the wall. Quite suddenly, it's become specialist work, wiping the soot and smoke off windows that themselves are chimney high. Though if only more architects had thought about it, there's a simple solution. Build your windows so that they can turn inside out for cleaning and comfort. Mostly our modern window cleaner has to have a head for towering heights. These cleaners are working from cradles. Fall out of these cradles and you'll certainly rock yourself to sleep. This is a new London building that looms over Buckingham Palace. You've got all sorts of window cleaners along with the cradle men and those others who look like flies on the wall. You've got a new variety of Spider-Man. Cleaners who scamper about slung in a bosun's chair as they do at this Essex power station. And alongside your modern steeplejack cleaners, there are still men with ladders. Giant ladders, often as not, as in the case of the Norwich man, who brought up an old fire engine to see that his window cleaning business was on the up and up. There's a 104 foot of power operated ladder, but slowly does it or there'll be a breakage bill. Nobody's going to say that cleaning windows is a smashing job if they can help. Today, window cleaners do up to three years training before they reach the heights. They're called tumblers when they start out working on 10 foot ladders. When qualified, they become shiners and take out their own personal life insurance policies. And here's a hint for the two-story housewife who still makes woman's work of it. For the best results, simply swab with clean water, wipe with a chamois leather, and finish off with a damp duster. That's a tip from the top of the ladder. 